Nuss. Okay? So it's right by transversus costrum. So transversus costrum is going to be adjacent to scalenus. Are there three scalenus? There are. It looks like a turkey foot. If you clean it up at the top, um, let me kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. All right, there's one piece. See that little nubbin? That's like one of the paws. And you see one kind of right there. Mm -hmm. And then like... there's the long one. Oh, wait, no. Okay, here's, this is transversus costrum. Ah, okay. there we go. Isn't, Boom. Yeah, and, this and then scalenus is right here. There was still goo in the way, and I couldn't see it. Okay, so now we got our turkey foot. So if you look here, there's one here. One, two. And then the other guy is right here here. Three. So there's three pieces to scalenus, but I always tag it here, Dylan, up in the big thick part, because this part all the way down is scalenus. I feel like last time we lifted all three up. We did. I had it like, <laughs> like that. Okay, so that's scalenus. Now, transverses, or the other ones under the transverse yeah. costrum? So right? yeah, so here's transversus costrum. What I tagged was actually external intercostals. But this is transversus costrum, this is scalenus, and now we're going to clean this up, and it looks so pretty. We call this the fan. This is your serratus um, ventralis. And if you get between each of the pieces of meat, it'll look like a really cool... Oh, that's what I thought last time. Yeah. And look... that's what covers the ribs, right? Mm -hmm. That's the what? Serratus anterior, anterior but in cats it's ventralis. So this whole section that looks like a fan is your serratus ventralis. Now we want to tag it like this first because then I got to make some more cuts. So take some photos if you want of these three side by side. Hey Dylan, could you like yeah. move Zach, you for a second? Is this on the quiz? Huh? Is this on this side? Yes, this, this is the last part of the quiz. <clears throat> You're good. Covered in kitty juice. Yeah, okay. All right, so then to find your intercostals, we're going to have to actually snip a couple of the pieces of serratus ventralis. Where's that good one? We cut those uh, first two. Okay, so he's snipping serratus ventralis, and then we're going to tilt it. Okay. So, so right here, see this kind of soft tissue? That is the external intracostal. And this is the rib meat. So like, obviously we don't eat cat rib meat, but when we eat a cow or a pork rib, that's what we're getting. And the bone are the rib pieces. And so it's really tender because the diaphragm is constantly moving. It's like constantly, um, what was that word we said? Uh, tenderizing, tenderizing. So, um, so it's very soft tissue. Now, what's crazy is to see internal, you just see how thin that is? Okay, so that's external that I'm going to pull apart. Okay? And so when you pull it apart, directly beneath it is internal. Is internal. So when you tag this, I always tag external on a piece not torn up. Do they go in, like, on a human, the external goes from out to in? Mm -hmm. Is that similar on a cat? Yeah, it's the same. So, so there's a different striation pattern. So see how this one is going like this, and then inside it's going like that. It looks like it's going from out to in, though. Mm. Wouldn't that be, exter for, that'd be external, wouldn't it? I think she said for uh, humans, oh, the ones go. that go from inside to outside are internal, internal external to, to internal, yeah. Yeah. external. Like where it starts, that's what like it is. There it is. In. Oh, okay. Outside to in is there external, is. inside so to outside. Now do you see it? Are you putting that in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I think the That'll one that we just had was the inter or external. Yeah, so, so we didn't get backwards. it all up. There's so the rest of the this, flap. This would be the, um, what covers the rib? Um, the ribs are covered by the serratus So this is ventralis. Okay. And then this, when it's flat, that right there. Okay. that's the externals. And now I'm lifting it up. That's the internal. So, and that's the internal. So for cats, it's like... It's going, the same way. It, it's the same thing it as is. humans? Okay, yeah. cool. It is. I didn't know if it was like... Since it was We're just All right, so be sure to get a photo of how I've ripped up one of the externals. Now, you cannot see internal until you've torn external. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I tag it... Oh, I'm so sorry. When I tag it on the cat... Everybody listen to this part. Are we listening? When I tag it on the cat, if you see torn tissue 
I tagged internal. If it's smooth and not torn at all, that's external. But keep in mind that it has a fan on top. So this is serratus ventralis that we cut and pulled back. So you have to keep the fact that there's three layers, okay? And make sure you know which layer you're dealing with because these are all deep. So if you ask me which one's deep, well, they're all three deep. Which okay. layer are you talking about? Serratus ventralis is first layer. External intercostals is second layer, and internal intercostals is third layer. But to ID internal, you'll be looking for a tag that's got ripped up tissue beside it. Okay? Now, I need you all to dissect your cats because I have to use them tomorrow. So I, I need everyone to go and do these things I did. Just and then done. we'll be finished. Yeah.